Good morning. So, with the first one, yeah. I'd like to thank the SAGE's programming committee for selecting my abstract for the plenary podium presentation. I'm a hepatobiliary surgeon from Tokyo doing two years research fellowship in the United States. I just finished my fellowship at the end of March, and I'm honored to have this opportunity to speak to you today. Today, I will be talking about the, the effectiveness of the structures, curriculum, oh, good, yep. Structured curriculum about the safety, obtaining the clinical safety for attending surgeons. The bile duct injury is still a feared complication during the laparoscopic cholecystectomy. The criteria, uh, uh, the critical view of safety is considered the best way to prevent bile duct injury and encouraged by surgical society and the guidelines around the world. The latest study based on the large-scale database by Christopher Mangieri reports the lowest bile duct injury rate ever at 0.19%. Why the surgeons are encouraged to obtain a critical safety before the cutting or clipping any structures, actual completion rate varies widely among the studies and is reported to be around 10 to 76% of the rapacories. The idea of the critical safety was first described by Stephen Strasbach and his colleagues in 1995. This technique has spread around the world during the past two and a half decades. These slides show the six-point scoring system of the critical safety described by Stanford and Strasbourg in 2014. The three criteria required to achieve a critical safety are shown on this slide. For each criteria, scores range from zero to two points depending on the quality of completion. The original article considered the score of five or higher to be a satisfactory critical group of safety. So we hypothesized that the practicing attending surgeon would achieve the better and the more frequent critical group of safety during the rapacori after the participation in the structured safe CBS curriculum. So all surgeons in the single health system who performed the rapacoris participated in this study. Prior to undergoing the safe CBS curriculum, two rapacori cases were recorded per participant. I personally collected all of the oral rapacori videos when this study started in 2017. I received the permission from the surgeon to videotape the cases for, for the quality study, the purpose of which was not specified. The HIPAA compliance was maintained. In addition to documentation of the oral cases, each participant completed the confidence survey and the CBS video quiz. After correcting the pre-curriculum videos, participants take a structured curriculum. After, after the safe CBS curriculum, each surgeon completed the post-curriculum confidence survey and CBS video quiz. Again, each surgeon had two rapacuri cases recorded. Once all the videos were corrected, that they were the identified and edited to 20 second clips. All clips were then graded using the six, six point CBS assessment tool by two expert surgeons who were branded to the operator as well as whether the case was before or after the safe CBS curriculum. In order to, in order to further assess their understanding of the clinical safety, all participants took the CBS video quiz before and after the teaching curriculum. For the video quiz, we used 10 publicly available videos of rapacoris and showed them to 60 second clips. We then asked the participants to decide whether or not a complete CBS was obtained. The same videos were used for the post-curriculum CBS quiz, but we arranged in a different order. The safe CBS cur curriculum was a 30-minute didactic session led by a member of the SAGE's, SAGE's Safe Rapacuri Task Force. It focused on the, imp the um, importance of the obtaining the clear CBS and the described techniques and the criteria required to achieve an adequate CBS. The six-point six point grading system for CBS attainment was also discussed. 
as well as the technique of performing subtotal cholecystectomy in case where a CBS cannot be fully obtained. This slide demonstrates the demographics of the surgeons. In our health system, lapacuris are performed by MIS, general, and acute care trained surgeons. Years of experience as, as an attending surgeon was about 18 years. And the majority had performed over 700 lapacuris in their career. Four surgeons had two or more bioduct injuries in their career, which was defined as a class B through E of the Strasbourg classification. So here, we can see the statistically significant improvement in the CBS video quiz after the safe CBS curriculum. Average score was 7.9 pre-curriculum and 9.3 post-curriculum. This slide shows the results of the confidence survey. The most significant improvement was seen in the surgeon's confidence in the accurately identifying the critical safety. The while the mean score was improved in the all three CBS criteria, there was no significant difference between the pre and the post curriculum. However, there was significant improvement in the total survey score after the self CBS curriculum. Here we have the result of the the operative video assessment. The mean score was improved in each of the three criteria as well as the total score post-curriculum. Why the total score did increase? The total mean score of 4.0 still does not reach the cutoff of five points or more, which indicates the satisfactory CBS. In our study, <clears throat> the cystic plate clearance was routinely the lowest foreign criteria. Prior to the curriculum, only one case out of 24 obtained the complete, C complete CBS. Afterwards, 10 cases out of 24 achieved the clear CBS, which was a significant improvement. Despite this improvement, we were still disappointed that our score and the CBS, CBS rate were not better. So we looked into whether there were surgeons or patient variables that affected these results. This slide shows the result of the individual surgeons. After the curriculum, four surgeons out of 12 achieved the satisfactory CBS with an average score of five or more. There was no statistical correlation between specialty, the number of career bioduct injury, or the number of career rapacoids with pre or post curriculum video review of the results. When we look at the patient demo demographics, there were no significant difference between the age, BMI, gender, emergency status, or pathology result of the patient before and after the curriculum. Interestingly, when, when cases were combined, we did find that pathology result had an effect uh, on the overall rate of the CBS attainment with zero of four cases of acute crisis status achieving a satisfactory CBS. In summary, our study demonstrated that participation in the structured safe CBS curriculum helped the surgeons improve the quality and the frequency in which they obtaining a CBS. Their operative video scores did not correlate with the specialty years of experience, the number of career bioduct injury, or the number of career rapacuries. Additionally, the safe CBS curriculum improved the confidence in which they felt they could accurately identify the CBS and improved their performance on the CBS video quiz. In conclusion, this study showed that the structured curriculum improved the experience of surgeon confidence quality and the frequency of the obtaining the CBS. We recommended that the curriculum is considered for widespread use to decrease the bioductive injury rate. Thank you for your attention and again for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you, thanks to Dr. Ujiki and my, uh, and my colleagues for their help on this project. So I'm sorry, I'm, English is my, not my first, first language. I asked Dr. Ujiki for answer the question. 
So please come up to the podium, Dr. Ujiki.